automakers and governments around the globe are poised to move electric vehicles in and gas and diesel vehicles out. The electric vehicle mega trend is unfolding and insiders know the time to get in on nickel and cobalt. The two critical elements to electric car batteries already in high demand is now. Don't miss this chance to get in on the opportunity to invest in physical class 1 nickel and cobalt before the mass market catches on. Go to www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Hello again everyone and welcome to another monthly market update April 2019. Electric vehicles in the news are starting to heat up with more public awareness and likewise competition is heating up between automakers around the globe. Competition ranges from auto designs to battery technology and of course pricing. But the biggest competition amongst car makers might lie within the Great Wall as Chinese car makers are causing competition to spread across diverse industries. From BNN Bloomberg, the U.S. 18 billion electric car bubble is at risk of bursting in China. An iPhone assembler, e-commerce emporium, and real estate developer typically do not compete in the same business except when it comes to electric vehicles in China. That's because of a seismic shift towards EVs which has spurred billions of dollars in investments by traditional car makers, startups, and titans of the internet, electronics, and real estate industries. The rush is on even as the government pulls back on the subsidies that juiced the industry to begin with. There are now 486 EV manufacturers registered in China, more than triple the number from two years ago. While sales of passenger EVs are projected to reach a record 1.6 million units this year, that's likely not enough to keep all those assembly lines humming, prompting warnings that the ballooning EV market could burst and leave behind only a few survivors. We are going to see great waves sweeping away sand in the EV industry, said Thomas Fang, a partner and strategy consultant at Roland Berger in Shanghai. It's a critical moment that will decide life or death for EV startups. At least two dozen of those electric car brands will be showcasing models at the Shanghai Auto Show. They range in expertise from nascent supercar maker Quan2 Motor to U.S. traded startup Neo Inc. and elder statesman BYD Corporation. Dozens of startups have entered the global EV business in recent years, raising U.S. $18 billion since 2011, according to Bloomberg NEF. Most of the biggest fundraisers are Chinese, including NIO, WM Motor, Xpeng Motors, and Yosha Motors. The startups promise to deliver a collective manufacturing capacity of 3.9 million vehicles a year. That's excluding what some of the world's biggest automakers are planning. And perhaps the most competitive area in electric vehicles are the batteries themselves. For the time being and foreseeable future and beyond, there is nothing better than the lithium ion battery for electric vehicles. From Bloomberg.com, battery reality. There's nothing better than lithium ion coming soon. Falling prices and sunk costs mean that the reigning storage technology has a lasting lead. Clean energy visionaries have long argued that the world needs a better battery capable of selling skeptical consumers on electric cars and running the grid on renewable power. And yet the battery of the future, at least for the coming decade, will almost certainly be the battery of the past. The humble lithium-ion battery has built up such a commanding lead in the market that competing technologies may struggle to catch up. That lead will only widen as a wave of planned new lithium-ion factories comes online in the next five years. The batteries pouring from new factories in China, the US, Thailand, and elsewhere will further drive down prices, which have already plunged 85% since 2010, and the billions spent on factories will create a powerful incentive for the industry to keep tweaking lithium-ion technology, improving bit by bit, rather than adopting something else. Many startups now focus on upgrading lithium-ion batteries rather than competing head-to-head. -head. 
We don't think lithium ion is going to be disrupted, said Eric Turgeson, Senior Director of Licensing and Strategy for Ionic Materials Inc. Turgeson's Massachusetts based company is one of several trying to perfect solid state batteries, often billed as lithium ion's likely successor. Solid state batteries promise, among other things, to remove the flammable liquid that can cause lithium batteries in laptops and cars to occasionally catch fire. But Ionic isn't trying to replace lithium ion. Instead, the company has designed its polymer electrolyte to work inside existing batteries. That means all those new factories can use it without buying expensive new equipment. We don't believe, given all the investment in lithium ion, that people are going to throw that out the window and start over from scratch. Continuing with battery competition and technology, from Reuters.com, worried about nickel supply, China battery maker BYD welcomes JV discussions. Securing enough nickel is a major worry for electric vehicle firms, an executive from Chinese electric car and battery maker BYD said earlier this month, adding that the company would welcome joint ventures that help guarantee supply. Nickel is one of several metals that are key components of the electric vehicle or EV batteries. A shift in battery chemistry toward higher nickel content would allow cars to go further on a single charge is expected to boost further demand. The supply of nickel going forward is a big concern in everybody's mind, said Coco Liu, procurement director at BYD at the Fast Markets Battery Materials Conference. BYD counts Warren Buffett among its investors and is also German automaker Daimler AG's partner in China. Analysts had early told the conference that the market would be short of nickel if Chinese-led projects in Indonesia fail to deliver. BYD looks not only for suppliers who can provide high-quality products, but also those who have experience in setting up joint ventures covering the whole EV value chain from upstream mining to precursor battery materials and finished battery products. Joint ventures are a good way to go forward and can save cost, said Madam Liu, adding that BYD prefers to have diversity in its supplier base to reduce risks. And furthermore, from UK Reuters, China's great power to start producing nickel sulfate by the end of 2019. Great Power Technology, a Chinese supplier of chemicals for lithium-ion batteries, will start producing nickel sulfate from a plant in eastern China's Zhejiang province by the end of this year. Nickel sulfate, like the sulfate form of sister metal cobalt, is a sought-after ingredient in cathodes for batteries used in electric vehicles for which China is the world's biggest market. Great Power's factory in the city of Shaoxing already produces 15,000 tons per year of cobalt sulfate, but the rate will rise to 30,000 tons per year by August. The nickel sulfate facilities with annual capacity of 30,000 tons are still under construction but will begin production in the second half of 2019. Nickel sulfate is extremely popular. The demand for battery materials is strong in China even as the country scales back electric vehicle sector subsidies. Production will be sold to companies that make precursors for lithium-ion batteries such firms include Ningbo, Shanshan, and GEM Co. Great Power, which imports nickel concentrate from countries including South Africa and sources all of its cobalt raw material from the Democratic Republic of Congo, the world's top cobalt producer, is also on the lookout for mine investment opportunities to guarantee supply. Battery technology is booming and part of that battery technology, a big part of the battery technology as we are seeing in reports like these, is that nickel sulfide is going to play a larger and larger role when it comes to the technology of lithium ion electric vehicle batteries. In fact, car chargers are waiting for battery technology to speed up to help these quick chargers get you on your way. From Bloomberg.com, fastest electric car chargers are waiting for batteries to catch up. The viability of electric vehicles depends in part on a manufacturing plant in eastern Australia where gleaming white cabinets, 
The size of large refrigerators are loaded onto shipping crates. They're among the most advanced car chargers available, promising to deliver a full tank of juice in minutes. Automakers and energy companies are spearheading the global rollout of these ultra-fast charging pumps to lure consumers away from gas guzzlers and toward vehicles powered by electricity. Thousands of souped-up stations are being installed along highways from Shanghai to Germany and California with the capacity to charge enough for 20 miles or 32 kilometers of driving range in one minute. Electric vehicles will comprise more than half of all new car sales in 2040, according to Bloomberg NEF, as prices come down while battery life and driving ranges get longer. To meet the power demand, about 50 billion of investment in charging equipment is needed through 2030, according to McKinsey and Co. Volkswagen AG, Tesla Inc., and Ford Motor Company are among the automakers spending on high-speed chargers with eyes toward the future. Current power packs are not compatible with the fastest chargers, and the first EVs able to fully utilize the new pumps won't debut until later this year. Still, car companies are nudging battery makers to catch up to help nagging customer concerns that EVs cannot take uninterrupted lengthy trips and that motorists face long inconvenient waits to recharge on the go. It's about impacting that buying decision in the dealership, said David Finn, Chief Executive Officer of Tritium PTY, an Australian supplier of high-power chargers to more than 25 countries. The reason you own a car is for the freedom to do whatever you want whenever you feel like it. That will always be playing on your mind if you have a slow charger. Yes, battery technology is getting better, but better quality batteries, quicker charging times, and now longer travel distances, these might be adding up to more expensive cars, right? From Bloomberg.com, electric car price tag shrinks along with battery costs. Choosing an electric car over its combustion engine equivalent will soon be just a matter of taste, not a matter of cost. Every year, Bloomberg, NEF's advanced transport team, builds a bottom-up analysis of the cost of purchasing an electric vehicle and compares it to the cost of a combustion engine vehicle of the same size. The crossover point when electric vehicles become cheaper than their combustion engine equivalents will be a crucial moment for the EV market. All things being equal, upfront price parity makes the buyer's decision to buy an EV a matter of taste, style, or preference, but not, for much longer, a matter of cost. Every year, that crossover point gets closer. In 2017, a Bloomberg NEF analysis forecast that the crossover point was in 2026, nine years out. In 2018, the crossover point is 2024, just five years from today. The crossover point, per the latest analysis, is now 2022 for large vehicles in the European Union. For that, we can thank the incredible shrinking electric vehicle battery, which isn't so much shrinking in size as it is shrinking dramatically in cost. Analysts have for several years been using a sort of shorthand for describing an electric vehicle battery, half the car's total cost. That figure and that shorthand has changed in just a few years. For a mid-sized U.S. car in 2015, the battery made up more than 57% of the total cost. This year, it's 33%, and by 2025, the battery will be only 20% of the total vehicle cost. You know, it's pretty clear how this is unfolding now. Better technology, better chargers, better batteries, better prices. And one might argue a better overall car that is cheaper to maintain as we see here. From TechCrunch.com, new registrations for electric vehicles doubled in U.S. since last year. Electric vehicles, still a small percentage of the total automotive market in the U.S., are beginning to gain ground according to analysis by IHS Marquis. There were 208,000 new registrations for electric vehicles in the U.S. last year, more than double the number filed in 2017. That growth in EVs was heavily concentrated in California as well as nine other states that have adopted 
the Zero Emission Vehicle Program. California was the first to launch the ZEV program, which is a state regulation that requires automakers to sell electric cars and trucks there. Connecticut, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, Rhode Island, and Vermont are also ZEV states. California accounted for nearly 46% or 95,000 of new EV registrations in 2018. California has 59% of market share of registered electric vehicles in the U.S. Those numbers are expected to push even higher over the next two years as more electric vehicles come on the market and an increasing number of existing EV owners stick with the technology. More than 350,000 new EVs will be sold in the U.S. in 2020. Those figures will give EVs a still tiny 2% share of the total U.S. fleet, but by 2025, that figure is expected to rise more than 1.1 million vehicles sold or a 7% share, according to recent IHS Marquis. Impressive stuff as we've been helping viewers like you to understand electric vehicles are coming in slowly but surely whether by government mandate technology price or simply a market need or market want the electric vehicle revolution is quietly unfolding and especially cobalt and nickel look to be two of the critical metals at the heart of the ev revolution and battery technology that's it for this month's market update. Keep an eye and ear open to news of EVs and especially cobalt and nickel. I'll see you again next month with another market update. Take care, everyone. Excited about the opportunities in the coming electric vehicle revolution and looking to invest in this electrification super cycle? Demand for battery metals like nickel and cobalt is expected to rise in tandem with the increase in demand for lithium ion batteries in electric vehicles. You can now buy nickel and cobalt parcels with silver bullion and have a direct price exposure to both battery metals. You have the option to buy 2-ton nickel parcels or 250-kilogram cobalt drums. Every parcel will be fully insured against loss and guaranteed to be genuine by silver bullion. Selling your parcels to lock in profits is as simple as logging into your silver bullion account, selecting the parcels, and clicking sell. Buy your nickel and cobalt parcels now at Silver Bullion's website, www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV, and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Interested but have questions? Email us at sales at silverbullion.com.sg or give us a call at plus 65 6100 3040.